Thousands of international students in Japan have been waiting to enter the country for over one year and still don't know when and how we'll enter Japan. One of those students is Anne from Switzerland. Hi, Anne. How are you today? Hi, how are they? I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. It's early in the morning, but I'm good. <laughs> what time is there? It's 7, 7.30. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for, uh, for taking this, uh, uh, this, call, this video call uh, early. It's 2.30 p.m. in Japan, so for me, it's a perfect time. My first question would be, how long have you been waiting to enter Japan? I have been waiting to enter since August, so that's now 10 months or so, August, yeah. Uh, why does uh, entering Japan, study Japanese in Japan, mean so much to you? Um, I, was, I wanted to go to Japan for one year and I have prepared, I've learned Japanese for that. I just wanted to stay in that country. I am studying law, so it's, it's not really related to my field of study, but I wanted to expand my horizon and really be there and live with the Japanese culture. Uh, what, 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 what is that you like about the Japanese culture, the Japanese history? What is that you like? Uh, I'm, I'm generally interested in the Asia Pacific region. I, I, I have, from, from a law's perspective, they have some similarities with uh, Germany and Switzerland, where I am from, and so it would be, it, it's nice to compare the law systems. Um, yeah, and while I prepared learning Japanese, and I also went to Aikido, I, I just like this culture, the religion, yeah. <laughs> And uh, how do you think that uh, going to Japan, studying in Japan, uh, how do you think that as a student in Japan, you will add benefit to Japan society? Um, you know, I'm studying law and we have we, a comparative law and I'm in my last semester. So I have already studied five years. And now in this semester, we would have exchanged with professor and other students. We would have talked about law systems. And I think it's very interesting if I'm from Switzerland and I can tell how our system is. I think that adds a lot for the other students and professors when I share my experience. Sure, sure. That, that makes sense. And uh, how has been for you waiting for so long? So could you please share your your feelings, your experience in those nine months waiting to enter Japan, not knowing when and how to enter Japan. Could you please let us know? Yes. Um, so it was really, my hopes were always up. Like there were always rumors in the newspapers that the borders would open. And I was always hoping that I could fly. And I, I moved out of my apartment back to my parents so that I would be ready when the borders would be open to go. So I was always living a little bit, not knowing what's the next step and always prepared to leave my country. And then I, I could never do that. So I, I couldn't make plans in the last nine months because I always said to my friends, oh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm there or there in, in two weeks. And so that, that was that. And then there was the other aspect of online classes in the morning, which was, yeah, it was tiring. The rest of the day often I was very tired. <laughs> Mm, yeah. I, I understand. And I think especially for young students, I think you are 24, right? Uh, yeah. Losing nine months like that without being able to make plan when you could do so much, you know, you could have maybe yeah. just focus on, uh, on, on Switzerland and, and, and just, you know, start a new job. Or if you know when you can go to Japan, you can start planning and, 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 and move into Japan. But in this situation, basically, you don't know when you're going to be able to go. Uh, yes. You don't know when uh, when it's time for you to leave, so you can just do anything. And and at that age, I think it's really really a, a waste of uh, of uh, of time for you and many others because there is many students in this situation. Yes, I um, also quit hmm. my job. I quit my job because I wanted to be able to go to Japan and uh, yeah, and then. Of course, nine, now since nine months, I don't have a job anymore. And as, as you said, I could have done so much, much other things if I would have known what, what would happen. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I understand. I really feel the situation. Um, what will it mean to you 
uh, if there is another delay uh, for students to be able to come to Japan. So if they delay the enter even more, what does it mean for you? Um, it means that I can never study in Japan because I finished my studies in August this year and then I'm done with my law school. I'm, I'm going to be a lawyer. So I... I, I can't study in Japan and I cannot I can never study in another country because I never did that before and it would have meant so much to my personal experience to have to have studied abroad. That's also good for you know this the CV and if you talk to people and now this opportunity if I if I will not be able to enter soon it it will be gone. Yeah. Yeah, and and I think like you Anne. Thousands of other students are in the same situation. They cannot wait forever. And if they cannot enter uh, very soon, they will have to quit because they can just uh, uh, stay and not making plans and, and waiting for so long. I really hope that for you and for all the other students, there are some uh, news from the government very soon. At least I want the, government, the Japanese government to give a plan for international students that are waiting so they know what they need to do and when they can enter Japan. Also, I think uh, foreign embassies, uh, European embassies, American embassies, they need to pressure more the government because uh, their citizens, in your case, as, as, as we citizens, but also Italian and Spanish Americans, they are in this situation and they need really to, to support them and trying to ask the government uh, when and how students can, can enter Japan. But uh, Anne, thank you very much for sharing your experience here. Yeah, thank you very much for hearing me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to talk to someone about the experience. Yeah. And it's very important for you to share this so more and more people are aware about the situation that thousands of students are in right now. And uh, if you're watching this video, even if you're not a student, but you want to support international students, make sure that you share this video, you like this video, uh, so more people know about it and hopefully that we will hear good news from the government soon. Uh, thank you again, Anne, and thank you very much, everyone, for watching this video. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>